Hey everybody, Bayzad here, back again with Risa. Hey. And today we've got the brand new, new Rainbow Core Salvage, one of the most anticipated re-releases in Naked and Famous Denim history. We're gonna tell you everything you need to know about them, their specs, our thoughts, opinions. Stay tuned everybody, we've got, uh, we've got a brand new, Brand new, this is a brand new video, but we've got a great video in store for you right here. <laughs> so let's start with the specs. Uh, this is a 12 and a half ounce uh, Japanese salvage denim, rainbow core salvage denim. Let's get into that later. Um, the other specs are the uh, this beautiful Raging Bull leather patch. It's it's this deep, uh, dark brown color. It's got a it's great really texture to it mm -hmm. as well. Definitely. And um, also silver metallic hardware and as well as Rainbow Salvage ID, as you can see here. So let's get into Rainbow Core Denim. What does it mean? So when we talk about Japanese denim and why it's the best, there's, I mean, we can go on to this for hours, and if you want to go into it for hours, join us on our live streams Fridays at 7 p.m. right here on YouTube. But one of the main reasons people talk about Japanese denim being the best is because of the way it's dyed. And they, they dye the yarns here in Japan, the yarns that make the jeans, uh, in a special method called rope dyeing. And that's basically where they take the white cotton yarns, they dip it into a vat of indigo, they pull it out, they let it dry, they dip it back in again, they pull it out, they let it dry, and they repeat this process many, many, many times. Basically, uh, depending on the color that they're trying to achieve and the indigo penetration. And when I talk about indigo penetration, What's the most interesting part about the rope dyeing process is that they never allow the white yarns to remain in the indigo bath long enough for the indigo to fully penetrate to the core of the yarn. So what you get is a white center core yarn with layer and layer and layer of indigo on top. Mm -hmm. And that's why when your jeans fade, they fade from many different shades of blue to white. So with the rainbow core, we wanted to create something that faded a little bit differently. So instead of study, starting with a white center core yarn or a white yarn, we reactive dye those yarns and reactive dyes are permanent dyes. They don't wash out. And then we rope dye on top of that. So what you have is a colorful center core yarn with layers of indigo on top. And when those layers of indigo start to fade away, it starts to reveal the color underneath. Mm -hmm. And in the past we've done red core, blue core, purple core, like all kinds of different yeah. core yarns, and those will fade to that color. Red core would fade to uh, red in the, the, the parts that there's a crease and everything. But what's amazing about this is that you fade the rainbow. It fades the multicolor. So we've yeah. done this actually before. I think it was the second color core denim that we did. I think we started with the red core and then mm -hmm. we went rainbow core. And Rainbow Core has been so popular and one of those things that so many people remember fondly and wanted for us to bring back that we finally did it. And in this version, it's a little bit different than before because we went with full rainbow color. Before, I think it was just like a mix of greens and reds and blues. I don't even know if blue was in there. Mm -hmm. I'll have to check the tape. Mm -hmm. um, but this time we went with the full rainbow spectrum. So you've got multiple shades of colors throughout this denim. So you can expect a very, very vibrant colored uh, mm -hmm. fabric as a, a vibrantly colored faded denim as you, well, fade the jeans out. Mm -hmm. For those people who remember the old ones, mm -hmm. remember the original Rainbow Core, now's your chance to get it again. I know, I, I've, I've certainly seen in our Instagram comments people talking about, hey, I can't wait to get my hands on these. Finally, there's people who've seen them in the past, maybe through social media images of, of people fading them out and they've just been asking for these to come back. Mm -hmm. And then there's the people who are like, this is brand new to me, this is crazy, I wanna see it. Mm -hmm. And I think that, that goes into the next topic of like, who are these jeans for? Um, these jeans are, are for the, the people who are looking for the next step. I mean, it, it's it's quite a, a experience to fade jeans for the first time to begin with. Like you've never really like worked on the the creases and you know just the process of going from dark dark indigo to like you know lighter lighter shade you know like patterns forming and all that. Like I think that's very exciting. But after a, a few times of those experiences, maybe you're looking for something more exciting. And this yes. is certainly this exciting. is definitely more exciting. So. Like you said, you know, you, you've started off maybe some other, uh, you know, raw denim experiences, you know, a basic denim, like a left hand twill, a slubby denim, a heavyweight denim, I mean, you've been through it all. And now this is something that is so out of left field, so, in, in, you know, I would, I would say so naked and famous of us. Sorry, that was the cats if you heard in the background. Mm -hmm. But uh, so very naked and famous of us that, you know, when we create fabrics like this, it's really 
really it's mostly about entertaining ourselves. Like mm -hmm. we want to create fabrics that are so weird and different and fun. And it just so happens that we, we happen to have a, an audience who likes this kind of stuff as well. So, um, yeah, I, I think you, you got to be an adventurous person to want to have something like this. Uh, and you're, you're going to, I think you're probably a raw denim veteran who's been through it before. Mm -hmm. But if you're new to raw denim, this is your first pair of raw denim jeans. You know, you're going to have a lot of fun with these. You will certainly get more compliments with a pair of jeans like this than almost anything else. Mm -hmm. I, I tend to find the really weird fabrics that we do bring you back the most compliments. Mm -hmm. Like you, you might be out somewhere and somebody say, whoa, those are really cool. Maybe they're not for me, but mm -hmm. they look really cool on you. I always find that compliment to be odd because if somebody can appreciate it, I'm like, oh, you can wear it too. Of course you can wear it. Anybody can wear it. But I guess it does take... It takes a certain, right. you know, bravery yeah. to, to want to wear things that are a little bit out of yeah, the ordinary. Yeah, I mean, different people have yeah. different styles. But anyways, like, what's great about this is, like, you have to understand, you know, the, the basic, like, idea of raw denim to appreciate this. Yeah. Because, you know, it's just like, you know, when you start off, it's it's very plain dark indigo. You don't see anything weird about it and then you just like gradually it's gonna reveal and it's just like i don't know you, you are right this is the perfect learning tool learning example of how raw denim or rope dyed denim works mm -hmm. because you will see that it's oftentimes people think it's the weft the interior weft color that mm -hmm. determines how a denim will fade like if we make a red weft jean some people will ask me like do those fade to red mm -hmm. and the answer is no because the core yarn of the warp the exterior warp is white so it doesn't fade to red you might get some red undertones through the twill lines of the fabric but it won't fade to red but the reason why like the red core the rainbow core any of our core color uh, denims fade to that particular core color is because of the rope dye process and you can clearly see how that works here mm -hmm. um, also I love like you were saying like this is a, a it's kind of incognito it looks like a regular pair of raw denim jeans I mean it is made with a short slub yarn so you do get like these high low points throughout the fabric but you can dress these up wear, the, wear it a little bit preppy you could wear it on, on the sportier side you know streetwear however way you want it, it it's it's very it does really well in in incognito mm -hmm. so uh I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of this fabric mostly because it's super nerdy um and i really appreciate the way that these jeans fades i mean a lot of you folks out there uh i'm sure in the next coming months and weeks are going to share your faded uh, progress yeah. stories with us we're going to share some examples of some older rainbow core fades with you guys as well so all right so uh risa give us a rundown of what these jeans are available in or what this fabric is available in so new Rainbow Core Salvage would be available in Super Guy, Weird Guy, Easy Guy, as well as Women's Fits, Ariel, Classic, Max, and Denim Jacket. Right. The Denim Jacket is unisex, so, uh, you know, it goes from uh, extra small all the way to double X. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, so we've got, uh, also, well, anyways, I'm rambling a little bit, but uh, we've got the new Arrow Fit for Women, which uh, you're modeling right here, so check that out. So, <laughs> yeah, so Arrow Fit, um, for those who don't know, is the new fit that we're introducing in Spring Summer 22. So this is actually the first time we ever released this fit. And uh, this one is a slim straight leg. So classic fit is more of a like relaxed wider leg uh, straight jean, but Arrow is the slimmer version of it. So people who like uh, straight leg jeans, you just, you just don't want like that wide leg this is the jeans for you uh, max is the slim tapered so max has a very very small leg opening arrow would be would see somewhere in between classic and max right and it's a hundred percent cotton so this is the true raw denim experience like crispy all the way for ladies as well so you don't you don't see that from a lot of uh um you know you don't see that a lot in the raw denim mm -hmm. world in general so we've got that available for you here so um i think I think that wraps everything up. Mm -hmm. So these jeans will be uh, will be available in January twenty eighth at uh, select naked famous denim retailers worldwide. Check out the link in the description below. We've got a blog post uh, with all of our available retailers. We've got more photos and uh, a little write up there as well. And now <laughs> that's everything. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Let, let us know your thoughts about these jeans in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And we will see you. Friday evenings right here on YouTube for our live streams and or in the next video. All right. See you guys. Bye, everyone.